All right, guys. What do we got here? George Kittle. George Kittle, the man with the best Canadian accent in the NFL. I'm led to believe. Coming in at number 22 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2022. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Do we need to say more? No, not really. Tight end for the 49ers. He is one of the top two tight ends in this in this list. I'm, I'm you know, I will say. Um, the other one being Travis Kelsey. Darren Waller's been. Uh, Kyle Pitts has been. And look, the rest escapes me. And look, the rest of them escape me at this time. Thank you so much for being here, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, but I keep thinking back. I keep thinking back to to video number 50, 57 odd. To, to 51 and I do have to apologize because I was absolutely pissed I'm not gonna lie I I had copious amount I had a look I don't want to tell you how many drinks I had but I'd had a few and um, you know I saw the end of the line I saw seven videos to go and I thought you know what fuck I've got to get these done and um, it really does it, it just um, doesn't sit right with me but I'm gonna put them out anyway because that's me and that's what I do. So guys, thank you so much for being here, and let's get into the video. He thinks he's a WWE wrestler. Come on, boys! Woo! George Kittle, take one. Let's have a read of that. George Kittle, take one. Because I know, well, who are these guys? T. Schmidt, D. Kamara. These guys are the ones that actually put this together. What have we got? 12, 14, 20, 20, 21? So that's 14th of December, 2021. George Kittle, take one, top 100. And he did. He did give the first... Um, he was first on screen at number 100 when we looked at... And this is going to really test me. This is going to... Kyle Jusick. Gotcha. So we sat down, they said, right, talk about Kyle Jusick. Or yourself. It's 11.40 and 8 seconds on the 14th of December, 2021. What a day it was. Let's get into it. Hi. How you doing? Whoa, excuse me. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, don't hit the ref, mate. I'm silly. <laughs> it's wacky. Ooh. Just out here having fun, I guess. George Kittle may be a fun-loving guy, but he didn't make the top 100 for his personality. Oh, yeah, Jorge. Yeah, George is, uh, to me, he's the best tight end I ever played with. Jorge. <laughs> George Kittle's the best blocking tight end there he uh, is. There is in the league. And I Pay it back, Kyle. Pay it back. I think probably of all time. Uh, I have no shame in saying that. <laughs> Him and I working together, it's just been a dream. We call ourselves the Spirit Bros. When the two of us are working together, we feel like no team is gonna be able to set an edge on us, and we're gonna drive you past the numbers, hopefully into your sideline. He's gonna stick his... Actually, to be honest, yeah. You put the fullback, Kyle Jusick, and the tight end, George Kittle, on the field. As blockers? Because they are Spirit Brothers. His nose in there, and he's gonna not just look to position block you he's looking to dominate you you know you see him get on the cats get under the pads run his and feet. there they go once again the spirit brothers and the next thing you know pancake i mean he might have got tackled but still Kittle, he has great hand placement if he gets his hands inside he'll pancake anyone actually we'll give him the time of day what what what, what was that block like was, um, it, was it a real get pancake cats, get under the pads run his feet and the next thing you know oh pancake. it really was Kittle, he has great I mean, it wasn't Aaron Donald, but still. Great hand placement. If he gets his hands inside, he'll pancake anyone. I, he'll pancake me if he gets his hands inside. It's not like he's pancaking EBs. Not like this guy's pancaking D linemen, linebackers. Oh, it's amazing to watch. Beautiful. He is the best I've seen in the National Football League at coming across the formation and cutting out defensive ends, outside linebackers. We love Travis Kelsey, but he does not play. <laughs> Holy shit! Tell you what, there's too many, there's too much footage in this series that is slow motion because that that certainly was not. And let's have a look at that again. Football league at coming across the formation look how quick and that is. cutting out defensive ends. Outside See you, mate. Bankers. We love Travis Kelsey, but he does not block like that. It's kind of how I run block. Like I'm 245 pounds, I shouldn't be blocking 300 pound people. But no, you shouldn't. If I get off the ball, 
If I get my first second step in the ground and run through a guy, hey, it surprises him. He's got enough. He's got enough. He's got enough. He's he, yeah, 245 pounds. Well, let's have a look at some stats, mate. Wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. Nick Minnett. George Krieger Kittle. And that might be German. Who knows? Born October 9th, 1993. He's 28 years of age. 6 foot 4, 250 odd pounds. Went to Iowa from 2012 to 16. Now that is the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, got picked up in the 5th round of the 2017 draft. The pick number 146 to the 49ers. He's been there ever since. He's a three-time Pro Bowler, 2018, 2019, missed it in 2020, but came back into the fray in 2021. Um, let's have a look at these stats. 4.52 for the 40-yard dash. And, and, you know, for a guy who's 6 foot 4, all of 250 pounds, that's moving. Uh, 35 inches in the vertical, 11 foot on the, bro 11 foot on the broad jump. That's fucking big. 18 reps on the bench. Uh, he's strong. He is strong. Let's have a look at his, his deal. So last year, August 13th, well, two years ago, August 13th, 2020, just prior to the, the start of the 2020 season, he signed a $75 million contract with the, with the 49ers um, over five years, making him the highest paid tight end in the league. Uh, what have we got here? Let's have a look at his stats. All right, so over, over five seasons, including a few games in 2020 that were lost due to... A broken bone in his foot. 67 games, 4,489 receiving yards, 20 receiving touchdowns, 11 attempts at rushing, 69 yards, 6.3 yards per attempt at rushing. I mean, put him in at running back, in my opinion. Uh, three fumbles in 67 games, and one of them lost. So, okay, so he's had a career high in 2018 of 1,377 yards, but he's been consistent, you know, with the amount of games. You know, uh, relative the relative to the amount of games that he's played, he's been pretty damn consistent, and finds himself at you know, averaging what 900 yards per season as a tight end. And to be honest, guys, other than his 2018 season, where he balled out and got 1377 yards, he has not played a full season, including last year. So what that means is that he is pretty much guaranteed to have a thousand yards per season. Either way, let's get into it. He's the best blocker in the league at his position, but one of the best pass catching tight ends as well. He'll go and run a deep over and catch a contested ball on your best safety as well. An amazing one hand. Yeah, that's a that's a fucking that's a flag. That's a flag. If I ever did see one. <laughs> catch by Kittle. He Besides just absolutely Gronk loves it. Prime, there hasn't been anyone since I've been in the league who can dominate in both the run game and the pass game. What a catch oh, by George. What a the catch. The thing that I respect the most about George is his effort. How hard he plays. He goes Get off a thousand me, miles per hour. He's fast too. This guy gets 50 yard touchdowns. He breaks one Yeah, he's 4-5. Oh, all of a sudden, he oh him the that's just rude. But that's what you know, a four five forty yard dash gets you at six foot four and two hundred and fifty odd pounds. I catch you him know, running a just slant. A freak show. He's at the top right now. <laughs> the top of the top. Kittle with the catch. Touchdown. I think like the last what four or five Super Bowl winners have had pretty decent tight ends from Gronk to Kelsey to Zach Ertz, you know. You gotta have a good tight end to win Super Bowls. That's a good call, George. That's a good call. Oh, tight ends, baby. Oh, throws the hat up to the crowd. What an absolute legend. You could have thrown your helmet, but uh, maybe next year. Maybe after the Super Bowl. Well, well, well. That brings us to the last video of the day. Because uh, I've really got no choice. The final 20 don't get released until Sunday, which will be Monday my time. And today is Thursday. So I'm going to have a good three days to edit up probably about 40 odd videos and it should be fun thanks george thanks for the memories and uh best of luck for next year in the next video we're looking at the super bowl losing quarterback joe burrow in a second year in the league coming back from a devastating knee injury uh joe cool 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. If you have, hit the like button. If you really want to support the channel above and beyond, head down into the description box below, become a member, buy me a coffee, or even become a Patreon. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.